you're about to set out on treatment for colorectal cancer, metastatic stage four colon cancer. And you may have read, there's a bunch of different medicines out there. Why is your doctor picking these specific medicines to give to you? And I just kind of want to walk you through the basics of these medicines. The most important base medicine, if you will, is a drug called 5-FU. It comes in two flavors. It comes in an IV form, which is given to you to go through an infusion pump that you take home for two days and then either come back to have it disconnected or sometimes a nurse will come to your house and disconnect it. That pump 5-FU also comes in a pill form called Zolota or Cape Cytobine, and those two drugs are equivalent. And some people don't like pills, some people like the pump, and vice versa. We tend to use more pills around here than pump, but that's between you and your doc to decide. They're the same, right? We add to that a chemo medicine, and there are two chemo medicines. One is called oxaliplatin, one is called arinotecan. They add benefit, but they also add side effects. Oxaliplatin is known for neuropathy, pins and needle, feeling of cold side effect. Arinotecan, a little more hair loss, a little bit more diarrhea associated with it. Both have some nausea associated with it, but are pretty well tolerated. And then we usually add a third drug, a biologic. The most common drug that's added in this space is called Avastin or Bevacizumab, and it works by choking off the blood supply to the cancers. Some patients are eligible for a drugs called cetuximab or panitumumab, but they have to have particular gene tests that are positive, and believe it or not, their tumors need to be on the left side. So usually we use the three-drug cocktail, a 5-FU, oxer erie and a biologic, and set out. Some of us push some patients even harder by adding a fourth drug to the mix, but that's a discussion between you and your doc. And sometimes we actually back down and only use two drugs right from the beginning. Again, a discussion between you and your doc. So generally speaking, three drug regimens going forward, that has a pretty high probability of shrinking your cancer. Uh, and going forward, whether you'll need more drugs, when and how, will be between you and your doc.